Tuesday's tragic bridge collapse in Baltimore has reminded Minnesotans of the devastating I-35W bridge failure in 2007, where 13 people lost their lives. It's also raised concerns about current bridge safety. Officials at MnDOT say they regularly inspect bridges across the state. Two bridges over Highway 169 are scheduled to be fully replaced as part of MnDOT's routine maintenance schedule. The 36th Avenue Bridge in Plymouth closes in June. Construction on the 63rd Avenue Bridge in Brooklyn Park and Maple Grove will begin this April. The bridges will be fully replaced with improved lighting, signage, and drainage. A lot of these bridges were put in, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, and so uh, things change over time, and when we have the opportunity to update them to meet modern height requirements, we, we do that as well. Lopez hopes the bridge replacements give travelers confidence in the safety of their infrastructure. Our thoughts go out to, the, to our counterparts in Maryland and, and folks and the, and the people who were lost in that bridge collapse. Obviously, Minnesota has its own history with, with uh, bridge collapse. So as a result, you know, MnDOT takes very seriously um, you know, inspections of bridges and making sure that they're properly maintained and replaced when, ne when necessary. A multi-use trail for bicyclists and pedestrians will be added to the 63rd Avenue Bridge. The new bridges are scheduled to open in October. The huge park along the Mississippi River is being revamped. As Kevin Miller reports, the construction project has come a long way this winter. Running along Brooklyn Park's eastern edge, the country's longest river chugs softly. It's a place where nature and its beauty are on full display. In the Mississippi, it's world renowned. We want, we want to look to the river. We want people to feel comfortable and connected to the river. Nestled along the river bank are the bones of a new structure. This wood framing will become the entryway to a new park. So we're working on that right now. It'll be a visitor center, nature center, community center, kind of all wrapped into one. And it's what the community asked for and we're really excited about it. It's the most visible new feature being built at Mississippi Gateway Regional Park. And that'll have views of the Mississippi River. There'll be comfy seating and tables and chairs. And also we'll have some interpretive exhibits teaching people about kind of those mysteries of the Mississippi River and, and what maybe people haven't noticed before. Patty Meyer with Three Rivers says construction has come a long way since breaking ground last June. The mild winter gave the project a jump start. The weather has definitely impacted the project for good and bad. <laughs> We've had moments where uh, the weather has been great this winter with lack of snow for construction. So we've been able to take advantage of that. Construction is plugging along for amenities like the treetop trail. There will be an elevated boardwalk that will go out over the wetland with views of the park. So people can kind of get that bird's eye perspective of the park. And the frame for a covered reservation shelter has already been installed. It will be able to hold approximately 150 people, picnic tables, open air. Meanwhile, Three Rivers plans to close the dog park in April, but will open a temporary replacement. The park should be fully built out by summer of 2025. Three Rivers says it's worth waiting for. I'm excited to see the community come in and be able to connect with nature in different ways. This park will be the jewel of Three Rivers Park District in the future. In Brooklyn Park, Kevin Miller, CCX News. Shelters across America are having to make difficult decisions. They are running out of room for animals and in some cases are having to euthanize due to lack of space. But as Sarah Allen reports, pet foster agencies are trying to ease the burden. This is Chunk Norris. He came from Pups in Maple Grove. With a name like Chunk Norris. Oh, you want more? Oh, yes. You'd think that this foster pet would love the camera. I know. Well, he doesn't, but he does love his foster mom, Renee Bullduck. He's just a fun-loving dog that likes people. Come on, Chuck. And he just likes to play. Uh, and he rolls around in the backyard, and he's just happy-go-lucky type of guy. Good boy, Chunky. Chunk is just one of many animals. <laughs> Honestly, the stories that are be behind them. Renee's rescued since she started fostering in 2018. That kind of make your heart reach out to them, and you want to help. And 
bring them in and give them that little bit of, you know, care and love that they kind of need. She also helps animals at Pups, a Maple Grove animal shelter. So this is Pet Haven's first facility. We have been a rescue since 1952, Minnesota's first foster-based rescue. Get into the animal foster system at Pet Haven in St. Paul. We have taken many pets out of Pups this year. I mean, I think it's one of our larger municipal shelters that we pull from. Carrie D'Amato says while shelters provide a caring place for pets to be in the short term. At Pet Haven, we believe in couches, not kennels. We know that pets are healthier emotionally and physically when they are out of a shelter in a home. Pet Haven sets foster families up for success. This is our supplies area. So you can come and shop as a foster, no charge, everything is included. By providing a mentor, as well as free food and medical care. It's a great way to, to try it on. D'Amato hopes more families step up to provide pets with short-term loving homes. Our whole model is based on getting them out of the shelter into a home where they can be successful, their personality can come out. Watch. The home environment is where they really are meant to be. In Maple Grove, it's very hard to say no to some of those cute faces. Sarah Allen, CCX News. You can apply to be a foster at Pet Haven. We have a link to their foster information on our website. Maple Grove now has a new restaurant that will satisfy people's craving for healthy food and have them dreaming of the Hawaiian Islands. I'm, I'm ready. Right. One, One, two, two three. three. Yeah! yeah. Thursday marked the grand opening of Hawaii Poke Bowl. The new restaurant along Main Street specializes in bowls filled with diced fish, rice, vegetables, and other delicious toppings. The owners say this restaurant helps to fulfill a desire for more healthy dining options in the metro. When people are thinking about healthy food, they'd be like, oh, it doesn't taste good. But we are doing this both at the same time, like healthy and tasty. This is now the eighth Hawaii Poke Bowl location. There are seven in the Twin Cities Metro and one in Eau Claire, Wisconsin.